Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the Destiny Beta PlayStation 3 playthrough. This of course is part two. Um, and before I actually get into the very next mission, I wanted to kind of show you guys this little hub screen as you sort of set up your matches, connecting with the people that you might be playing with before going on to various missions and locations. Um, if you remember or if you caught my part one that I posted earlier, um, it was kind of, I, I was referring to the fact that I wasn't quite sure what the beta was going to let you do in terms of interacting with the community, the MMO experience, or the persistent online world experience that this game is supposed to allow us to do. I wasn't sure if it was maybe just going to be experiencing the world, a couple maps and missions, the gameplay, picking your characters in class, stuff like that, which of course you did get to do. And then of course, in finishing that last mission, once I got to this point, it kind of let me know exactly what's going on. You can see down here, it's pretty late at night, um, so there's not a lot of people on but you can see down here you I've got two friends online I'm able to pull up those folks and kind of bring them up and invite them to my um, fire teams which is what the your squad of one to three people are before you go into matches um, matches I should say missions and areas so it's pretty cool to see how a it works for the beta and B it's probably gonna end up working still for the final game when it launches in a couple of months um, and so what I spent the last little bit doing before I decided to start recording was I went to the hub area, which is where the game really starts to have that MMO sort of atmosphere to it. Um, the game went into third person for this, which I did not expect. I'm sure maybe a lot of you might have seen that in preview footage, but I've avoided a lot of preview footage to maintain my excitement. So I had no idea I was going to do that. So that went into third person. I walked around. I inter interacted with people, found out how to level up, what the currency in the game is where you get your missions, you upgrade your ship, do all sorts of cool things. I dug it. I enjoyed it. It really felt like a lot of hub worlds and other kind of MMOs that I've played, which to be fair really isn't many. And you can see here you would set your destination similar to picking like your campaign missions in the Halo games. Um, this is where, this is the hub world if I was to go and I would select the tower, the last city of Earth, you can see. Um, select launch and go there, but I'm not going to do that. I want to do another mission. I want to kill some fools. So, I'm going to Earth here. Obviously, I feel like these might fill in with more places down the road as the final game uh, branches out. But, I'm going to Earth. I'm picking right here, the Divide. And I'm just going to do, yeah, normal restoration. Old Russia Earth. I like it. Story mode, it tells you right here. I'm not going to invite any folks. I'm just going to kind of go for it. So, And similar to the Halo campaigns as well. It kind of gives you that launching countdown. Pretty cool. And I'm assuming... Yep, there we go. I'm landing. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. All right. The ship was recently shot down here. If the fallen haven't got to it, there might be parts we can salvage. Sweet. Oh, and you might notice here. Pull my objective. There's the ghost again. Investigate downed guardian ship in the steeps. Um, you might notice my primary weapon has changed. I did happen to. I upgraded that. So that was pretty cool. I was really excited to be able to check this out. The magazine clip only holds 11 rounds, so that sucks. I was a little bit hesitant to choose this weapon, but oh dear God. Let's see how it feels. Well, that felt fantastic. I'm going to reiterate again for anyone who either did or didn't see my part one. I cannot possibly translate to you how good I think the combat and the shooting in this game feels. The overall gameplay, the tightness of the controls, the tactile feel and impact of every bullet that hits, it's just wonderful. Seriously. I realized I have to start stop saying wonderful, by the way. So it's been my, ad my go-to adjective for this game for some reason. Um, and it's very true, but I'm going to try to avoid saying that. So I'll go from wonderful to maybe badass. It's just badass. It's all been badass. So very similar area to where I left. As I mentioned, we're going back to the same area to salvage parts. I love the vistas. Pretty fantastic. Again, um, too, if you didn't catch my first one, I am playing the PS3 version. I'm getting this on the PS4 with my white Destiny PS4 bundle when that launches. So since I don't have the PS4 yet, I figured I would just do the beta on the PS3, get some footage of that. I don't think many people are posting PS3 footage, so I'm hoping to maybe be a little bit more unique in that respect. 
Um, so, you know, the visuals, it's very interesting to see what this game looks like. While it looks good, I'm reiterating stuff I talked about in part one, I know. So sorry if you did see that. But while the visuals look good, again, the aesthetic and the design of the world and everything around it, it's fantastic. The weapon design's great. Um, oh, let's see what this deploy ghost. He's going to do some things, I'm sure. But um, even though, like, the design and the fluidity of everything is great, if you, if you were to see it on my TV and maybe not the game capture footage on YouTube here... It's, uh, it's, the colors are a little bit muted, the, the textures are very soft, and they, they look very incomplete. They don't really pop. The jagged edges in some areas, soft edges in other, it's very inconsistent, you know. Um, surprisingly, you know, lower quality, even for the last-gen versions than I was expecting. So I'm really excited to see what the next-gen PS4 version is going to look like. We should check it out. Let's see... Descend onto the Cosmodrome tunnels and use Ghost to Link to the Information Hub. I will do such a thing. Thank you, sir. Uh, here we are. Where is my... I just saw it. Um, there was a marker telling me where to go. I'm assuming this way. What the hell was that? Something blew up. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, I'm playing with the volume pretty low on my TV, so I missed some things here. Oh, God. And that was a grenade. I'm playing like a noob. You didn't see that. None of you saw this. This is not going on the internet for anyone to see ever, right? Okay. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Damn, I seriously got tore up there. I was not expecting any of that. You bastard. Here's how we do it. Oh. I don't know if you can melee those guys. Um... Mm -hmm. I really wish I didn't waste that grenade. It sucks. Can I go here? Oh. Okay, there's nothing here. I feel like this is another dude. Someone else chopped in my game, I'm assuming. That's what it looks like. Yep, and I don't know that he's playing. Little does he know he's going to show up on the internet. Hey, buddy. All right, well, anyway, let's just move on. Now, there was a... Oh, dear sweet lord. <laughs> there was a mission, mission objective uh, waypoint that I saw for a hot minute, and then it went away, and I don't see it anywhere now, so... <clears throat> In the midst of that chaos, I kind of lost it. Hey, here's some dudes. Watch this action. You are so toast. Oh, I know you guys saw what I just did. Man, that felt good. I feel like the game is probably going to end up being quite a bit harder with the final cut, final version, come um, come September. That's okay. Dude, seriously, this guy is... These guys are tough. The Vandals, they're no joke. But, headshot. Headshots feel so good in this game again. That effect of them just kind of... Uh, the way their heads explode and the little puff of steam and smoke. Damn, it's satisfying as hell. Okay. Some stairs. Always a good good place to go. Looks good up there. There's my homie. I guess I should wait for him, huh? Ooh, nice. Oh, I have to revive him. I'm coming, dude. Oh. What am I doing? Boom. Melee is fantastic in this game, too, as exemplified by such. All right, where'd he go? I'm going to wait for homeboy here. You're already getting into my Let's Play, so where are you, man? Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's how. And he's just going to obviously go on without me. So that was interesting. Um, I didn't. I don't, I don't know this person. He's not in my friends list, and he just came out of nowhere. So I guess you can just join in random matches. Um, so that happened. I hope he doesn't ruin my experience. Or for my viewers, buddy. Come on, man. I don't know who you are. You might not be awesome. You're just kind of going, aren't you? Okay, fine. I was going to revive you. Now I'm glad I didn't. Oh, that was neat. It's like he's probably gonna... Oh, fuck. Ooh, that was a beautiful thing. Um, again, I love um, 
I'm going to point this out as well. The um, inclusion of the experience points that pop out every time you defeat someone. It's wonderful. Yes, it's borrowing a little bit out of what made Call of Duty so successful, but that's part of why I love Call of Duty, so I don't mind seeing it show up in Destiny. Holy shit. That could have been bad. So I really love this gun, but its lack of fire is a little bit tough. These are single shots here. Okay. Tracker 1.0. I don't know what that is. Let's see here. Uh, this is your level up screen. You can see you're picking different aspects, your weapons, and then, of course, your armor and whatnot. Shows you if you have more to choose from. Here we go. Gauntlets. I am not level 3 yet, so I cannot do that, but I can't wait to use that. That's 13 defense. 17. Okay. Well, that'll be neat. Again, uh, I can't remember. Did I say this or not? I might have said this, I already have forgotten, but in case I didn't say that, anyone out there who is playing this, definitely feel free to talk about it below, too. Um, and if you're playing on the PS3 or the PS4 and what you think of it so far, um, I'm just going to maintain, I am loving the shit out of it. I think it's fantastic. Take that. It's always fun to play with environments and see how they react. This doesn't really react. That's okay. I'll take it. Um... Yeah, I really have no idea where Homeboy went. I wonder, there should be a way to probably see who's in my uh, fire team here. But I don't see a list of that anywhere. Unless that means he's gone. Roster, probably. Yep, he's gone. Good. Don't need him, don't want him. Okay, there's the waypoint. What the heck? I got turned around. Okay. I don't know, didn't I come from here? I did, didn't I? I think I did. I don't know why that waypoint told me to come back this way. You guys saw that. That wasn't me. It told me to turn around. But yeah, this is totally where I need to be going. By the way, I'm pretty sure the sprint never runs out. Oh, wow. I just literally came up on a bunch of dudes. That's really cool. See, again, this is the this is the fun of doing this Let's Play this way. I'm not going to lie, you guys, is that I'm literally kind of discovering what this game allows you to do um, as I'm recording. So you're kind of, you know, getting to watch and see my reactions. I don't know all the details about this game. I've been on information, you know, blackout for the most part for a while because I knew that I was excited for it and I didn't really want to get too much info on it. So this is, you know, a lot of the things that this game is going to let you do, I really have no idea until I'm experiencing it right here and now. But I do know the idea of that persistent online world and the MMO experience is a big part of Destiny, part of what made me excited for it. So it's cool to see these things happen, because that is exactly how it would be in a, an online world. Just run into some people in a firefight. Love it. What's up, buddies? Hi. Whoa. Those guys have, like, super awesome jumps that I don't have. But they're higher level than me, so that makes sense. Well, <laughs> yes, I am playing Destiny now. Thank you. I appreciate you sending. Oh my God, yo! Wow, I'm just getting devastated. That was really unfortunate. Somebody revive me. I don't know if I'm getting revived. Respawn. Okay. That's okay. Sweet. That's the first time I experienced death, and I happen to be around a bunch of other folks. Hey, guys, thanks. You can see I'm level two. I suck. Try not to judge. These kinds of firefights, I don't love this gun as much, honestly. I guess I should wait for these homies. What do you think, guys? Should I just stick with them or just go? I assume I can just go. Hello. Look at that cloaked bastard. Oh, man. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, hello. I'm assuming we just hold this ground, it seems. What are these homeboys doing? I trust these guys. Well, maybe not. He's just firing. I'm playing, Destiny. I appreciate your interest. Screw this bitch. Mid-air. How did that not get him? I mean, seriously, you guys. Got him. Level three. Woo! So that means I can do... This action right over here. Boom. Feeling good. I'm feeling like a level three hunter, you guys. Pretty sweet. Okay. What was that for? Can't be for this. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, so this says go over here. Why? What I also haven't seen is if there is a way... Again, I do like this weapon, but the, the way these firefights are happening here... Dear sweet Jesus! I I kind of wish I didn't have this gun. So I haven't really seen a way to pick up, like, another gun. Like, no one seems to drop weapons as far as I can tell. That could become very common in the game. I just haven't seen anything like it. Take that, bitch. Boom! How did that not kill both of them? I mean, seriously. In the nuts. Come on, man. You were dead. Nice. Oh, sweet God. Nice. I don't know, really, if the objective is to just hold this forever. Wow, that is a tough son of a bitch. Nice. You think you can hide? I see where you- Oh, God! Where is that? It's gotta be up higher. I don't think you can climb on things. Oh. Show yourself. Nice. Get him. Nice. Wow. Oh, new gun. Okay, well, that was a little bit weird, but we'll take it. Yeah. Give me your ways. Hey, buddy. I appreciate that some shots... Oh, that was a headshot of all headshots. You saw that, people. Loved it. This motherfucker right here. Oh. 
Gotta say, the best part about capturing my shooter footage is when I do cool shit like that. Which isn't that often. I'm not really the best shooter guy, I won't lie. I mean, I am pretty good at Call of Duty, but that's about it. Alright, we're gonna call this here for now. This is gonna be, uh, this will be the end of part two. But, uh, don't worry, I will pick up again with part three. And if you guys like it, then let me know. I'll keep on doing this throughout the week while the beta's going. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in.